Alright, <clears throat> a new 5 minute game. What should I play? Uh, let's go d4 and see what he's um, coming up with. Uh huh, let's see. The old Indian, really, or King's Indian. Uh, some sort of old Indian type setup, I think. Okay, so I try to play um, a Zamish like setup with f3. Should I go d5? Yeah, I think I want to close the, the center. Hmm, uh, maybe this wasn't so great. Hmm. I was a bit worried that he would move the knight and then play bishop g5. I wouldn't have, ha have had any chance to prevent that. Okay, so what is this about? I'm wondering about... Uh, let's check this briefly, c5. A tech, small tactic here, c5. If he takes d6, wins a piece. But I'm not threatening anything. This is uh, the problem. <laughs> c5 is uh, a trick if he takes, but... Um, yeah. It, um, it's pretty much pointless if he doesn't. Okay, so continue um, developing here. If he takes on d5 now, maybe I should consider knight d5. Yeah, I tried this. This might speed up my, my kingside development. C takes d5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but f5 now? Hmm. Not sure that I played this uh, so great. <laughs> okay, so where should the knight go? I think c3 should be should be normal towards the the queen side where my play is usually. Uh -huh. Yeah, he sort of tries to play on the queen side. Don't mind that. This um. Uh -huh. The overall structure is still um, adva advantageous for me with d5 versus d6, so I might mark uh, bishop d8, yeah. I didn't really pay attention to this. <coughs> bishop d8 would have been uh, would have been quite interesting. Pl trying bishop b6 here. Okay, so rook b1, yeah, to uh, threaten b4. This knight is not a it's not a stable piece here. It's not uh, can always be attacked. So a three, hmm, a three, queen b three. Yeah, I need to I need to kick the queen here. Bishop d one, queen a four. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see, do I have something better here? The question is, what about b, b3? b3, queen, queen moves to a6, and then b4. Hmm. This is all a bit shaky for white. Okay, but I try it. I try. Okay, uh, queen d3, yeah, maybe. Didn't really look at this move at all. Hmm. <laughs> okay, it's not um, it's not terrible or anything for me. Maybe b4, yeah, b4. Then he needs to um, yeah, exchange queens. And then this knight. Where should the knight go? Knight d3, I have bishop c2. Bishop c2. I want to take on f5 if possible. Hmm. If he takes on e4, I might need to recapture with the pawn. Yeah, well, I might need to. Um, with, um, nicely put, I need to. 
He's threatening bishop d8 also, so I need to get going here. Aha! Surprise! So does he want to take on d5 or pile up on the f-file? I'm not sure. Don't really understand what's going on, to be honest. Thought he would just take on e4 with no problems. Ah, a simple tactic. <laughs> I overlooked a simple tactic here. Okay. Hmm, this is not good. To put it, uh, to put it mildly. Hmm. Yeah, just lost now. Also considering the time situation. I mean, the position is uh, also uh, just uh, just a wreck here. Maybe, hmm. yeah, I'm always uh, trying to be optimistic, but <laughs> it's uh, hard to hard to believe here. Yeah. White should uh, should be just lost here. A3 is also gone. This is a problem. It cannot really enter on the C file. This D4 knight is uh, just a terrible piece to um, to play against. Bishop e1 even, yeah. Bishop e1. Or this move. Yeah, I'm just a piece down. <laughs> just a piece down. Yeah, this was really a bad game. Bad game by me. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. This this shouldn't be so terrible. But maybe um, here before was was mistimed. And it's not a great position for white anyway. Yeah, uh, but uh, shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be really worse. Yeah, I simply um, didn't take uh, this <laughs> rook, t rook c3 into account. The c file is, all, of course, a weakness here, and this bishop d8 to b6 um, is a problem. Yeah, I'm not not well coordinated here. This wasn't wasn't so great. I mean, this kind of position shouldn't be shouldn't be worse for white, of course. All right, so just a bad game. And um, let's hope it uh, gets better next one. <laughs>